right, welcome back to session. Got two new drills to do this week um, that are going to be working on the same things that we worked on last week in part one. Um, we're going to be carrying on today in part two but working on a few different um, drills, okay? Um, again, the equipment you will need is your football and six flat cones, ideally all the same color, that it makes nice and clear how to set it out and where to go, etc. okay? So one football and six flat cones. Once you've got these two pieces of equipment, come back to the video and I will go through how to set up the first drill of today's session, okay? See you in a bit. Right, first drill that we're gonna do is known as crosshairs, okay? You will need your six flat cones and then you'll need to go and stand on where your start point is. So my start point is gonna be exactly where I set up the previous two drills in part one. So I'll go and stand down on my start point with my six cones. From your start point, I want you to put one cone down. You are then going to take five steps forward and you will put one cone down. You're then gonna turn and take five steps to the left one cone down. I then want you to go back to the second cone that you put down. This is going to be known as your middle cone. Okay? Then from the middle cone, you're going to take five steps out to the right and put another cone down. Make sure that these three cones that you just put down are all in a nice straight line. steps forward. You'll then put your last two cones down to create a gate and this is going to be known as your end gate. Then again make sure these three cones here are in a nice straight line. Once that's all done come back to the video and I will go through the instructions for how to do this first drill, okay? So I'll see you all in a bit. Right, for this first drill, you're gonna start off at your end cone. You will run to the middle cone, touch it with one hand. Out to the left cone, touch it with one hand, back to the middle cone. Over to the right cone, touch it, back to the middle cone, up to your gate. You'll then have three seconds to turn around and then you will repeat it. So you'll go into the middle, touch, out to the left, touch, back to the middle, touch, over to the right, touch, back to the middle, touch, then to the end um, cone, touch, and then you'll finish there, okay? And that will be one set. And you're gonna do it for five sets. I'll show you a little demonstration, and then I want you to go off and give this drill a go. your start cone when you're ready we'll go three seconds turn around there you go again five sets and then once you've done that come back to the video and then I will go through how you're going to do this drill with the foot. Good luck. Take your time. Don't rush this drill, okay? And make sure you go in the right sequence. So it's forward, touch, left, touch, middle, touch, right, touch, middle, touch, end, touch. 
five sets, then come back to the video, and we'll go through the next stage of this drill. See you in a bit. Right, for this next part, you're going to need your football, and then you will go and start on your start point, and you'll do the same drill, but this time you'll just be dribbling the ball, okay? Using both feet, keeping control of the ball, keeping it nice and close to you. Again, going to the middle cone, out to the left, back, to the right, back to the middle, then to the end gate, three seconds to turn around, and then we'll go back and do it again. I'll show you a little demonstration, and we're gonna go off and give this one a go. start point, you get ready to go, out to the middle, round the cone, back to the middle cone, out to the right, round the cone, middle gate, or end gate sorry, and stop. Three seconds to turn around, and we'll go again. Trying to use both feet, all time, little touches, not the kick of the Stop. Five sets. Then, once you've done your five sets, come back to the video and we are going to move on to drill number two for part two this week. Okay? Good luck, take your time, and I will see you all in a bit. Right, for drill number two of this week's session, I want you to pick up your six cones and then you need them all in your hand because I'm gonna go through how to set up this next drill. Now this next drill is known as lateral shuffles, okay? So make sure you've got your six cones and I want you to go and stand where your starting point is. From your starting point, I want you to put one cone down. You're then gonna take four steps forward put one cone down. You're then going to take four steps out to the right and put another cone down. Make sure that this cone is in line with the second cone that you put down. Once that's done, face forward and take four steps forward. Put another cone down. Then I want you to turn to your left Then turn and face forward and take a final four steps forward to put your final cone down. So it should look a little bit like this. Put your start cone, four steps forward, second cone, four steps to the right, third cone, four steps forward, fourth cone, four steps to the left, fifth cone, four steps forward, and your sixth cone. Once you've set your cones up exactly like this, I want you to come back to the video and I will go through how to do the first part of this drill, which isn't gonna be with the football, it's gonna be your um, running part, okay? I'll see you guys in a bit. Right, for your running part, you will start your start cone. You'll run forward to the second cone and then you'll do a side step shuffle out to the third cone. Then you'll run forward, side step shuffle left to the fifth cone, then you'll run forward to the sixth cone. You'll then have your three seconds to turn around and then you're going to go back and do it again. So from your sixth cone into the front cone, left sideways shuffle, forward, right sideways shuffle, forward to the end cone where you start, and that's where you'll finish, okay? And you'll do this for five sets. I'll show you a little demonstration, and then you're gonna go off and give this one a go. So, from 
all your bar points. When you get to each cone, I want you to crouch down and touch the cone. Okay? Remember, when you're going to the side, the side lays shut here. Alright? When you're ready, you may begin. And when you get to the end, three seconds, turn around, go again. And I will go through how to do the last part of this drill with the football. Take your time with this. Try not to get too complicated or um, confused with which way to go. It's nice and simple though, okay? Like I said, don't rush it. And I'll see you guys all in a bit. Good luck. Right, last part of this drill. As always, you will need your football. Okay, so you're going to be doing exactly the same instructions that I've just gave you for when you're doing it without the football, when you're doing just the running part. But this time you'll be dribbling the football around the cone. Um, take your time with this one, using both feet, okay, um, and not taking big touches, so not smashing the ball forward and running after it. Touches with both feet, keeping it nice and close to your body, nice and close to your feet as you're going around the cones. Obviously you won't be able to do your sideways shuffle when you're going to the side, so you'll just go round the cone, turn and dribble in that direction, then you'll turn again, you have to dribble forward, etc. Okay? Um, I'll show you a quick demonstration, and then we're gonna go off and do your five sets of this drill. The end cone, three seconds, turn around, do it again. And then you'll stop, and then you'll do it for five sets. If you want, a little challenge, if you can have a little skill turn as you're going around the cones, then by all means give that a go. But make sure that the ball is under control at all times. I want you to try doing too many skill moves and mucking up the drill, okay? We're not concentrating on working on our skill moves, we're more concentrating on our close speed dribbling, all right? Take your time with this, give this a go, then once you've completed your five sets, come back to the video and we will wrap this week's session up and I will explain what the plan is for next week. Okay? Good luck. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Right, I hope you enjoyed this week's session, boys and girls. I know I said that I will explain what we're going to do next week and the plan for next week. I want to keep it a surprise, okay? So it gives you all something to look forward to. Now, the fifth session will be coming out next week. Okay, so keep eyes posted for when it goes live on YouTube, um, as well alongside all of the other virtual clubs that have been filmed by your PE teachers. Okay? Um, well done for today's session. That is the end of our speed and agility um, drills and session. Um, it's split into two parts. Okay, So we'll be working on something different next week. Um, as always, I hope you're all staying safe and keeping well, um, and I'll see you all next week, okay? Take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you later.